Hey, what's good? It's Rocknan, and uh, this is a little bit impromptu. I thought about making this video before when I was having issues, but today just kind of took the cake, and it frustrated me to no. I just I lost my shit when it happened. <laughs> so basically, and I'm not sure if anybody else is having this problem or not. It may just be something with my connection. Um, from the day I installed Street Fighter V, randomly I would get kicked from CFN for no reason. And I don't mean like, you know, every once in a while. I mean like there are sessions where sometimes I would get kicked continuously uh, while everybody else is having a perfectly fine grand old time playing. And I thought it was my connection or some issue with my side of things before uh, until it got to about month two after I straightened everything out on my side and made sure that my connection was fine that, you know, I had nothing effed up all everything was good. And so um, I still had that problem. It was a little bit less so in about April and uh, early May. It wasn't as bad. Um, it slowed down a little bit. But then as of like the last few weeks, it's gotten pretty terrible. Where I can even be just idle in the game doing nothing. I'll just get kicked off CFN. Or I'll be, I'll start a set with somebody and it'll just get me off CFN for like the first half of the set or the first half of the first match. Things like that. And it's made a very uh, unpleasant experience. And I know that I'm not the only one experiencing this, but. Um, Maybe somebody can shed some light on this, and maybe I'm missing some of my side. Because uh, when I tried to, I had to try to do a set with uh, uh, friends like three weeks ago, and it got to the point where I just quit. I got so frustrated and mad, I just quit, and I didn't play the game the rest of the day. So I'm like, screw this game right now. Because no matter what I did, every time we played, somebody dropped, and usually I got dropped and kicked off of CFN completely. Keep in mind, I'm not saying the connection drops and I lose connection to the match. That's standard fear that happens in games. It shouldn't happen as often as does in Street Fighter Five. But it happens. I mean, I literally get kicked off of CFN completely. Just completely kicked out, logged out. Uh, so, when that's our uh, modest line, uh, Oz actually uh, suggested like to check my ports, which is something that Capcom Unity listed. So, I went and checked to make sure that I opened those ports up that they uh, indicated should be open. And for about, I say, four days. It was pretty smooth. I didn't have any problems. Everything seemed to be running fine. I figured, okay, I must have solved it. It's just the port issue, which is common for online games on PC. So I'm like, all right, I get it. That can be a problem. That can be a problem. I'm sure that's the problem. And I fixed it now so I can get on here and play more consistently. And for a while, I did play consistently. And then about, I want to say, the middle of, or probably the end of last week, this weekend, I started getting the error again. And then as of today, which would be Tuesday, the error just got out of hand, and every time I started a set, I had to worry about will the error out of me, will it tag me out. And so as you probably see in the background, if it hasn't happened yet, it should have happened by now. Um, the game will just log me out. It'll log me out of CFN mid-match. Now, the cute thing is also that when it does this, um, it has a tendency of not only logging me out, but then not even giving me a message saying that I've been logged out. Sometimes it will actually just lock up. Or if I try and log back in, it'll lock up and the game just becomes unresponsive. Sometimes if I alt tab in this situation, I can get back to the game and it'll actually progress to the next scene or screen, not scene. <laughs> it'll progress to the next scene. I said scene again. It'll progress to the next screen. There we go. I can talk, I swear. Um, but most times when this happens, I have to actually task manager and then um, three key it. And that's really obnoxious I should not have to kill an app every time it logs me out for no reason that I've caused so it's become really frustrating so the reason I really want to put this up aside from bringing attention to the issue more attention than is probably already out there is uh to apologize to anybody that's had matches with me where it seems like either a I rage quit or b something I just dropped was you know it was a bad connection because sometimes I'll have five, five bar connections it'd be a beautiful match and it'll just drop and one time, I actually had that happen at the end of a match with a pretty top-level player. I forget who it was. Um, and it freaking rage quit. Not rage quit, but the the app quit, basically. Street Fighter V rage quit. It just dropped at the very end of a match. So it looked like I rage quit. And that's legit frustrating because I'm like, number one, I wanted to get a run back against the person because it's the first match in the set. Two, it's unfair it's so unfair and it's so annoying to have that happen and as a modern game that should not be a thing which is constantly kicking you off the network so if there's something that i'm missing that maybe i didn't do i will give full disclosure um the way that my wire my wired network is set up 
Um, I run a TP link through my house, so I have the TP link hooked up to my router, and then that's going through the wall, and it turns the wall into an actual live connection. It comes out through the socket in the living room, and I plug it into that. So it's still a wired connection, but it is going through that. So if that's causing the problem, I will look into figuring that out. But I don't think it is because everything else that's connected to that thing, or whenever I connect anything else to it, it works perfectly fine. Um, when I had my Wii hooked up, my Wii U hooked up to it, I ran Smash and Smash ran perfectly fine on there, like smooth. The best is probably ran, aside from like when it was hooked up to the motor, or right to the uh, router itself. Um, obviously, this is all wired. I don't do wireless uh, fighting games, so yeah, it's it's really really obnoxious, and I just need to find some solution because right now it's ruining my ability to like really get concrete sets in. And uh, if it's actually just CFN, then Capcom, please, Capcom, please tell me you have something <laughs> lined up I don't know hopefully with the next uh, character coming out there will be something that just like puts in some more fixes because the game system itself is really solid and I really enjoy it and I really like playing it even when I get frustrated and I want to quit fighting games I come back and I'm like okay I'm ready now I still enjoy it and it's really fun everything surrounding this game is really irritating and this is kind of getting to be the straw that broke the camel's back because I'm like I cannot fathom how this can be okay and it's really just annoying and as somebody that right now I cannot go locally to as much stuff as I want to um, sometimes my only recourse is to play online so I'm kind of stuck between the rock and the hard places like well I either go online or risk getting disconnected all the time um, and dealing with rage quitters that's a whole nother story but I'm not going to go there because obviously everybody knows about that um, or I just don't play or I just play training mode and training mode can only get me so far I need actual live match experience to, to look at and figure out stuff so that's it that's my rant um and i just hope that this gets fixed and if there's something that i'm missing or something i've done wrong then somebody can advise me on ways i can fix it but i just want to put this out there as soon as possible because it's really frustrating it's sapping my enjoyment of the game um and it shouldn't be so there you go thank you for checking this out thank you for hearing my uh my rant and uh yeah i hope i don't do too many of these videos I shouldn't, I normally don't like to do these kind of videos, like addressing huge game issues and stuff like that, but this has just gotten out of hand to the point that I'm like, I can't play this game comfortably. It's just really irritating. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So thank you for checking this out, and I will uh, I will holler at you later. Side note, any other Kami players, can you help me out with something? I don't understand. I hate shortcuts as it is, and this shortcut is really weird for a hooligan. Not that it's a half circle rather than a half circle to up. I keep getting it when I'm coming out of crouching or I'm trying to do uh, hit confirms in the super or even in the DP sometimes. I'll get freaking hooligan. How do you get around that execution wise? Because unless I go straight down and don't touch down back at all, I can't seem to do it without accidentally getting hooligan. It's a really annoying shortcut. Just figured I would drop that there. Okay, now I'm gone. Later.